All right, hello YouTube and welcome back to the Grease Comedy YouTube channel. Today's video will continue on our 25 days of Winds of Winter. And in today's video, we are going to be doing Sansa. So Sansa is an interesting one because we've been told that there is a certain plan and route with Sansa's character through Littlefinger. I am of the mind that that is not going to happen. Usually when we get stated plans in this universe, they don't happen. I, I can't think of a single plan where it's like, oh yeah, they, they told the audience, they told us, and oh, that's what happened. Um, it probably has, but it's just been to a very minor scale. But before we get into the video, if you guys like to like, subscribe, and comment, please do. It helps the channel grow your channel, and I like this content as well. We're pushing for 2,000 subscribers. By the time this video comes out, we actually might be there already. I am recording this very early, so we might be there already. But if we aren't, help get us there before Christmas. And also, I will be doing a Q&A talking about... Anything, anything you guys want to ask me for 2,000 subscribers can be about A Song of Ice and Fire, can be about Sansa, can be about my personal life, the YouTube channel, whatever you guys would like. So I just wanted to throw that in here before we get into the video as well. So let's move into what I think is going to ha happen with Sansa in Winds of Winter. I think Sansa is destined to take down Littlefinger. I think that's her end goal by the end of this book, is that she is finally going to break free of people constantly trying to manipulate her. Uh, trying to use her, trying to use that her for their own gains. And I think that's her end goal here. So how do we get there? So we've been told here that Sansa is going to be married to Harry the heir. And he, she's going to do this because it would help give her control of the veil. And also she has a claim to the Riverlands and to the North as well. So the idea here would be by doing this, she can then use the Vale army to then commit to either retaking the North from the Boltons or helping cleanse the Lannisters from the Riverlands, take back her homeland of the, you know, the Tully's River Run, all that stuff. Maybe helping the Blackfish as he's there as well. Her mother's also there, even though she doesn't know it because it's Lady Stoneheart as of right now. So she could be doing that or... There could be something else that ends up happening. Now, I think what is going to be more likely is that I think Harry the Heir is actually going to be the one that dies. Because let's think about it from a point of view of how does Littlefinger gain power or keep power in this situation? Littlefinger loses all of his power over Sansa and also the Vale if Sansa marries Harry the Heir. Because then it flip-flops. Where even if Sansa was to come out and say, yeah, I'm Sansa... She really doesn't have any real power over Littlefinger outside of the knowledge that he killed Lysa. But in this regard, if, let's say, Harry the Air dies, and all of the power remains through Robin Aaron, Littlefinger has all the control over Robin Aaron. He keeps the power of the Veil for himself in that regard. Why would Littlefinger give up all of his power of the Veil to Harry the Air and possibly Sansa for no reason, almost. Either Littlefinger is very arrogant and sees that he has complete control over Sansa, or this just isn't the plan. And I think Littlefinger and Sansa are two characters you have to talk about a lot because they're heavily involved with each other. And we have to understand Littlefinger's motivations here. So I think it's just as likely that Harry the Heir dies than does Robin. So I think for me... I could see a scenario where they both die, where Littlefinger kills off Harry the Air to just take away that idea that maybe Sansa can marry Harry the Air, and then have Robin Aaron continue ruling, but eventually he dies because of his sickness, his illness, and the people turn to Sansa instead as she betrays Littlefinger and all of these ideas. So I could definitely see that playing out, but I think no matter what happens here, Littlefinger is going to die by the end of this book. I have talked about a lot that a lot of these villainous characters in the story just cannot be alive by the ends of Winds of Winter. Um, because Dream of Spring is going to be heavily focused on our war with the others. It's going to be heavily focused on the idea of who's going to take the throne after the war, or maybe before, and then we do the war with the others, then after the resulting effects, after who dies and stuff like that. I think, to me, there's a couple options if you want to talk about who Sansa could possibly ally with. I think Sansa could ally with Aegon. I don't like that theory just based upon the fact that I think Ariane is going to be the one that marries Aegon. I just think that makes a little bit more sense. It's it's fit into Ariane's plot really well of how she seduces uh, men and stuff like that. And I think 
that works out pretty well. So to me, Sansa is going to be focused on the veil and her whole story in Winds of Winter will be how she eventually outgrows Littlefinger. And I think her whole role in the story is going to be uniting the Vale and the Riverlands. I think the North is going to be its own thing for now. I don't think Sansa is going to be involved with that at all. I think there's just too many players right now in the North that Sansa is just an unneeded POV to also come up there. And also, if you look at my theory, where my theory is the North is going to fall by the ends of Winds of Winter, where I think Stannis tries to hold off the others from coming south, um, and he holds them at Winterfell. And while he's doing this, everybody retreats to the neck. And because, again, the North is not unified at this point. And that's the key, because if George wants to have this be two books, then, then the others are probably going to be on their way by the end of the book. And I think, to me, it makes a lot of sense that Sansa will be the figurehead of the Riverlands and the Vale, and she will be a huge force in getting them to ally and then moving to the neck in the hopes of retaking the North after she hears that it has fallen. That is what I think Sansa's big goal is going to be here, and I've never thought that Sansa would become Queen of the North. In the show, it made a bit more sense because Sansa's actually in the North because of the stupid, like, Ramsay-Sansa marrying plot, but in this story, it really doesn't make any sense. Sansa is inherently the least northern of all of the Starks. She really, even to this point, does not really feel like a Stark. I don't think the northern people would accept her as a ruler, especially when people like Rickon, Bran, Jon, who's going to be legitimized, will still be alive. I don't see a way that Sansa becomes Queen of the North. Now, I could see Sansa being the one that rules either... I could see her being the one that maybe rules the Vale or something like River Run, or maybe both. Maybe those two become a kingdom. I think that's very doubtful, but I think I could see her ruling one of those two. I don't see her ruling the North. Something has got to happen in Dream of Spring that makes it to where the Northern people really like her as a ruler. Maybe that could be because she kills Littlefinger avenging her father and she brings all this aid to the North for the war with the others. But I don't think so. I, I, maybe she is the, the ruler because Rickon's unfit. Bran maybe becomes king or he doesn't want to rule the North. And maybe Jon gets exiled or something. Or he be, tries to become king. I don't see that happening. But maybe there's just some reason Jon is not able to rule the North. Maybe he doesn't want it, which would fit a lot with his character. He doesn't really... I don't think he would want the throne. Um, roll the good old... I don't want it. <laughs> I hate that. I just got done rewatching season eight with one of my friends and um, they butchered John. But I think a really good ending for John was what they did in the show where he goes north of the wall and just kind of lives his life as a wildling. I think that's what he always wants in his heart. And maybe that way, just by everybody being gone, that Sansa becomes the ruler. That's possible. But um, let me know what you guys think about Sansa. I think she is definitely a character that will live on. And I think this is going to be Sansa's probably big book. To me where she has a lot of character growth and development but let me know what you guys think um and i will see you guys all in the next video i think we are doing aria next video i think we've been doing kind of all the star kids in a row we are doing aria tomorrow so thank you guys all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys